there are just too many crows in our city. Yes, Your Majesty, you are right. There are just too many of them. And they create such a racket too. I wonder exactly how many of them are there. I bet that's one thing nobody can ascertain for a fact. Well, Your Majesty, nothing is impossible. Birbal, I'll take your word for it, if only you can prove it. Can you count how many crows there are in the city? I certainly shall, Your Majesty. Give me a couple of days and you shall have your answer. All right, Birbal. I shall wait eagerly for your reply. Please, I would like to meet Raja Birbal. My Lord, I am sorry for disturbing you. No, no, it's all right. Who are you and how may I help you? My Lord, I am Neki Ram. I am a poor farmer living on the outskirts of the city. But I am ruined now unless you help me, my Lord. Please do not despair. Tell me what the problem is. I have been saving a little money every year for my old age and stored it in a pot which I buried beneath a tree outside my house. About three months back, I decided to go on a pilgrimage to Banaras and was wondering how to keep it safe in my absence. That's when I thought of my friend Lala Kishori Lal. Kishori Lal is a rich man and we have been friends for a long time. So I went to his house. Hello friend, how are you? I am planning to go on a pilgrimage to Banaras and thought I should meet you before I left. That's very nice. Please do get some prasad for me and do remember me in your prayers. Oh, of course I will. Actually, I wanted to ask you for a favor. This is my life saving and I was hoping you'd take care of it. Rest assured, my friend, you have a wonderful trip and collect the money whenever you return. Thank you so much. You are a true friend. Goodbye and thank you once again. I left for Banaras the next day and fulfilled my wish of praying there. The day before yesterday, I returned home in the night and rested. Thinking I would go to Kishori Ral's house the next day and collect my money. Uh, hello friend, how are you? I came back last night from Banaras and as I promised, I've got some prasad for you too. Okay, thank you. Is that all? As you can see, I'm very busy. Uh, actually, I wanted to collect my money too. If you would be kind enough to return it. Money? What money? Are you out of your mind? Please, don't do this. I am a poor man. It was my life saving that I gave you for safekeeping. Please, return it to me. How dare you? Why would I take money from you? I am a rich man myself. I don't need to take money from the likes of you. I have never taken any money from you. Get out of my sight and don't ever show me your face again. I couldn't sleep all night and kept wondering what I should do to get back my money. Then I thought about you, sir. I had heard so much about you. You are a very wise man, sir. Please, please help me get back my money. Tell me something. Were there any witnesses when you gave the money to Kishori Lal? Unfortunately, there were no other witnesses present when I handed over the money to him in his garden. Well, don't worry. If you are telling me the truth, then you shall have your money back. Go to Kishwi Lal and ask him to be there with you in the Emperor's court tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Your Majesty, 
There's a person here who wants justice done. He came to my house with a complaint. Shall I ask him to come and present his case? Please call him. Please call for Nekiram and Kishori Lal. Kishori Lal and Nekiram, please enter the court. Greetings, Your Majesty. Tell me, which one of you has the complaint and what is it? Your Majesty, I am a poor farmer and had given Kishori Lal, who I thought of as my friend, my life saving for safekeeping before I left for my pilgrimage. But he refuses to give it back to me now that I have returned. Well, is this the truth? He is lying, Your Majesty. Actually, I made the mistake of being good to him a few times. And he started calling himself my friend and is now trying to blackmail me into giving him some money by concocting this fairy tale and spoiling my name. I am a rich man. I don't need to chase the likes of him. Uh, Birbal, what do you think? What should be done? Your Majesty, I think Nekiram needs to produce a witness to corroborate his story if it is true. Uh, sir, I have told you there were no witnesses. Well, there must have been someone or something. Why don't you go back to the place where you handed over the money to Lala and look. Ask the bush or the bird or the tree closest to you when you gave the money to come and corroborate your story. But, but sir... Stop. Haven't you heard Birbal? Go now and ask whoever or whatever was present at the place to come along with you and corroborate your story. Go on now. Birbal, what happened to that Count of the Crows? Haven't you finished yet? Or have you given up? I have finished the count. Your Majesty, there are 10,591 crows in the city. What? Huh? Uh, are you sure? What if your count is proven incorrect? How come you are so sure? I am positive my count is accurate, Your Majesty. If you were to count the crows and found a few more or a few less than my number, well then, Your Majesty, either the difference in number will be because of some visitor crows from the neighboring areas or because some of the city crows might be visiting the neighboring areas, Your Majesty. Bravo, Birbal. What a clever way of answering the question. Bravo, Birbal, bravo. Thank you, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, Lalaji, Nekiram is taking too long a time in returning. I wonder what the problem is. Oh, I think he must be facing some difficulty convincing the banyan tree in my garden to come to the court as a witness. Your Majesty, please punish this man as he's a liar and a cheat. How does he know hmm? Nekiram would try and convince the banyan tree in the garden to come to the court unless he accepted the money standing next to it in the garden? Kishori Lal, you should be ashamed of yourself for cheating a poor man who considered you a friend. Guards, throw this man in prison. Don't worry, Nekiram, you shall have your money back today. Birbal, I understand you were up to something when you asked Nekiram to bring any bush, bird or tree as a witness. Bravo! What a clever way to get a cheat to admit his fraud. Bravo! Thank you, Your Majesty. Long live Birbal! Long live Birbal!